Time Nightmare, and here we are learning how to do mods. You guys have been asking me for instructions on how to install the mods like Darkness Falls, Ravenhurst, and so forth like that. And um, I told you I'd put a video up for it, and here we go. So, in order to get the mod launcher, which is what you need to install the mods, you need to go to Google, type in 7 Days That I Mod Launcher, and it'll be the first one, or, seven, or 7D2DModLauncher.org. You'll click that, and right here under this download section is where you need to go to get the link. So you click that, install it, it's safe, it's fine, it's nothing that's going to harm your computer. Um, then once that's installed, you'll get an icon like this right here. We're just going to click it and load into it. I've already installed Darkness Falls because that's my current series I'm doing. Once you're installed, it looks like this. But first off, make sure you install the mod launcher to your storage drive or wherever you put your games and stuff. And then you need to set this destination folder for mods before you do in anything else with the mod launcher. So to do that, just click that, um, go into here and you can make like a new folder here like I did for seven days to die mods. So I've already installed True Survival. We'll get to that in a second. I'm also gonna do a Ravenhurst playthrough, so we're gonna walk through Ravenhurst. So you go to one, the ones you have already installed will have a green check, and I'll explain more about that here in a minute. But if it, you haven't installed any mod yet, go to like, like I said, for instance, Ravenhurst, you've got to install a game copy, which this, what it does is it installs from your original Steam. It does not affect your Steam game, your saves, or anything like that, because what it does, it creates a whole new copy of the game. So, click install copy. So while that's doing that, um, I'll talk about what happens next. So when this is installed, you'll get the green check. It basically downloads and copies the game, like I said, from your uh, current Steam copy. Once that's done, we have to pre-sync it and download the actual mods and install the mods. So once this is done, we'll be back and we'll talk more. Okay, we're back. It's now downloaded, or actually, that just copied the game. So now we have created a new game uh, from our Steam copy. So now we just have to hit pre-sync mods. The mod is not downloaded yet. Would you like to download it? We click yes. So now it's gonna go in through its thing of downloading the mods from the mod creator and installing them into that copy we just made. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. And guys, yes, I'm jumping in here for a minute. It is doing stuff. It, I know it's gonna seem like it's not, but it really is, because if you look down here, this will eventually pop up and show you that it is downloading. So, there's that. We'll be back. Okay, guys, once that's done, it's gonna light back up like this and not be grayed out anymore. And it's gonna do some stuff right here where it's copying stuff and doing all that stuff. Um, once it says copying is done and you don't see any more movement, it should be good to go. Uh, like I said, it does take a little bit, so don't think it's not working because it really is. So I think it's done now. Let's see if we can load up Ravenhurst and see if it works. Which may be wrong and it not work at all. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll test uh, True Survival as well in this video and make sure it's loaded up right. Music's different, so it, I do believe it worked. Oh yeah, there it is. Very good. Very good. So, we now have a fully modded version of Seven Days to Die running Ravenhurst. So that's all there is to it, guys. Um, if we go into True Survival, I had already done this. Um, we need to pre-sync again. Mod is not downloaded. And then it's gonna do the same thing like I showed you before. 
there's less to this one than there is on Ravenhurst. Um, I've not played any True Survival, so I don't know a whole lot about it, but I wanted to get it installed because I thought about doing a playthrough of it too for you guys. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Real simple. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, you can get a hold of me on Discord or leave a comment on the video. You can find me on Facebook, and I'll do my best to try and help you out and see if I, we can get uh, any bugs worked out you may hit. But like I said, it's really simple. It's There's nothing to it, guys. It's not as hard as it seems. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Um, like I said, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Make sure you check out my Facebook, um, Twitter, and Instagram, and all that fun stuff. And I say, uh, a lot, apparently. But be nice to one another. Fight zombies and not each other. And we'll meet in the next video. See you guys.